Hello. Today is April 4th, 2016. This is my second blog. Um, my name is Pam. I am um, going through a lot of changes in my life. Sorry about that. I'm going through a lot of changes in my life and I'm sharing them with you on here. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be a grandmother again. My son's having his second child. It's a girl. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm sure it will. And I'm looking forward to seeing her and meeting her and holding her. <laughs> and um, I'm sure she'll be beautiful. My grandson's adorable. He is just the cutest little thing. Um, so today, my diet. Um, I did okay. I I had cereal in the morning, uh, raisin nut bran, and I had... Um, cereal in the morning with a half a glass of juice then I had I guess a snack I guess or lunch I had um, I had I had a, a half a uh, a half of a yogurt I had half of a yogurt it wasn't sugar-free though it was the regular kind so I take half the calories of that or carbohydrates um, then I had Today, for lunch or a little in intermediate thing, I had some cheese. I had some cheese and I had something else. Um, hmm. Cheese and something else. I just can't recall what it was. Um, mm -hmm. I, I just, I can't recall. Um, and then for dinner, I had I went and got some euros meat, just the meat. It's like a mixture of pork. I mean, I'm sorry, beef and lamb. And um, I didn't eat any bread. I had a, a piece of cheese and a little bit of the sauce. I didn't eat a lot of the sauce, but I did eat all the meat. I was very hungry. Um, I I think I'm doing okay. You know, I'm thinking, staying below so many carbs. Uh, probably below 50 carbs. Um, this is just the second day, so I'm not perfect yet. I go to the doctor on the 8th, and I'll get a regular diet. So by then, I should be doing better. You know, I, I'll have something to go by. Um, a little bit, you know, dieting is so difficult. It's really, really difficult. It's, I just, I don't know where to go. You know, I, how do people ha handle the hunger? Um, and the tiredness. I am. I. I was an extreme sugar eater. Eat sugar all the time, and to just cut it off is like so hard to do. It, it's really difficult, and it reflects in my. Excuse me. In my. Um, sorry. In my energy, I don't have any energy. I. Um, I can't be like that forever, but I'm sure this won't last forever, you know, just initial time. Um, tonight I'm going to a Gamblers Anonymous meeting in, uh, where am I going, uh, in Highland. And um, we talk about anything, you know, you know, gambling problems. And of course, you know, once you're in the program for a while, you don't normally you know, talk about gambling all the time, you know, unless it comes up in your life, if you're still struggling with not gambling. Um, one of my favorite um, lines out of the book is left and left, a uh, left and, um, let me get the book. <laughs> Um, caught off guard and, and under the right set of circumstances um, that can that can you know address a lot of things you know not just gambling it could uh, you know if you have a weight problem and you want to eat and you're you know thinking well I can have this just that and you could just start eating and blow your diet for that day and um 
and it could start you on a on a um, a course of overeating and gaining all the weight back you lost. I could tell you a story, and I will. Um, when I was about maybe about four, about five years ago, I was on a diet and I was doing really well. I was going to curves as an exercise. And uh, I was actually exercising, which is strange. Um, um, I was losing a lot of weight. I've gone down several sizes, and I was feeling really good about myself. I was getting all kind of compliments at work, and I was really feeling pretty darn good about myself. Well, uh, I had um, a coworker at at work. Son went missing. He was like a little boy. He was like twelve, I think. And so I went to my curves and I told them I said you know this is so sad this little boy's missing and you know he lives in the area that you live just keep your eyes out for him you know and they kind of threw it off oh he'll be found kids go missing all the time and he'll be found well unfortunately the little boy committed suicide so after that I found a reason not to go back I was mad because they, they shifted to the side like it wasn't important and so that's why I said left, you know, w without thinking, you can go back to doing something, you know, that you don't want to do. And that's me. I, I don't want to do that. I, I struggle not to gamble. I, um, I mean, it's not really a big struggle anymore. Um, I seem to be able to do it okay. I don't. Um, necessarily uh, feel that the urge to gamble you know I mean it was it, it was just like a it was a, it was a getaway something to do but you know but but with food this is another addiction I'm, I'm you know trying to tackle and this one I find is a little bit harder I really do because you have to eat you have to eat and you know I, I'm planning on having the gastric bypass and you know they say when you have the gastric bypass they cut off I mean this hormone or this it is it doesn't work anymore you don't feel the hunger well I hope so because I can't imagine going weeks without eating I, I just can't imagine that um, does my want to be thin, is it stronger than the want to eat? I wonder about that because, I mean, how much will, how much will my life change of me being, when I, if I become thin? What's going to change in my life? I mean, okay, I'll look different a little bit and, um, I could wear smaller sizes and maybe I'll be a little more interested in, my personal self is, you know, uh, you know, buying new clothes or, or, um, sorry, buying new clothes or I'll be more interested in maybe, um, oh, doing other things that I haven't done. I, I probably will have more energy and that's the, that's a bonus that I look forward to having more energy and able to get out on the floor and get back up again and that's like something I don't know why I, I just feel like if I get on the floor I can't get back up I, I'm afraid of that you know I so I'm very careful um, excuse me um I um I just know that this is something I really should do but is it something that I want more than I want food I don't know. I mean, you know, it's like I've known food all my life. I enjoy eating. I love sweets. I mean, I like the good stuff. You know, I like <gasps> that's my dog Ginger. <gasps> Ginger, hush. I I like I like the you know good stuff, and I um I enjoy my my sweets, but I can give that up. But, you know, if I have to go, like, months and months without eating, that might be a little problem for me. That might be a problem for me. But, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And, you know, this things only happen the way that they're supposed to. 
Sorry about that. That's my dog. Um, things only happen the way that they're supposed to happen. And um, if I'm intended to get the surgery and to become healthier and more mobile and able to do things, then the surgery will indeed happen. But right now, I'm just, you know, taking each day as it comes, one day at a time, and, you know, pray for the best and hope for the best. And, you know, but uh, that's my day to day. I, you know, I, I ate something I probably shouldn't have ate. I don't know if I was shouldn't have eaten or I should have eaten it. I know there was no carbohydrates in the gyros meat. Um, didn't have no bread. Didn't have no pop. That was one of my big addictions. Haven't had no sugar. Um, nothing like that. It, it, it's not easy. It's not easy. But it's probably be well worth it. So with that, I'll end this blog. And um, I'll get back with you tomorrow. Remember, please like and subscribe. Or if you didn't like it, let me know. But please subscribe. And uh, leave. you can leave a note. You know, tell me what you think. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.